I'm a bersatu loyalist. Yeah. Okay, I'm loyal to my party. When the High Court did that, we knew already that <laughs> we're going to be booted out. <laughs> we're going to be 35 against 5. Penyokong, penyokong AMNO and also Pakatan Harapan, yeah. they feel betrayed. Yang amat berhormat uh, Menteri Besar Kedah, Sanusi, yes. he threw a statement. Historically, Penang belongs to Kedah. Oh. When that statement came out, um, ramai orang koyak lah. YB Khalid. Yes. You're the former former Bertam Assemblyman, right? Yes. What correct. happened? Like how? <laughs> two, two months ago? About two three months, months ago. ago. Three months ago. Three months ago, yeah. Why are you the former Bertam MP? Eh, I don't Well, okay, um if you look back at uh on the sixth of March, yeah, if I can recall properly, sixth of March this year, Penang state government called for a state assembly. Okay, it was a two-day state assembly sitting, very short. Mm-hmm. And of course, the main objective that they called for the state assembly was uh, to uh, kick out four uh, Bertam assembly, sorry, four Bersatu mm-hmm. uh, state assembly men. Um, well, I'm one of the four. The other three is uh, YB Afif Sebrang Jaya, yeah. YB Zul Azim Teluk Bahang, and uh, YB Zul Ibrahim Sungai Aceh. Yes. Okay. So what they did was, um, not only did they... <laughs> kicked us out of uh, Dewan Undangan Negeri, yeah. State Assembly, but they actually uh, cleared us from our seats. Oh, okay? wow. So we were booted out from our seats. All your things? Yeah, so, so it's not just about us carrying our things out, but it's, it's about us losing our seats, mm-hmm. you know, the seats that we, we contested and we won. But now we have been kicked out. So... At the moment, if you look at these four dunes, Bertam, like I said just now, Bertam, Sebrang Jaya, Teluk Bahang, and Sungai Aceh, all these four dunes do not have a representative. And, and the funniest thing was, I mean, to me, it's really absurd. They kicked us out and then they appointed Adun Angkat. Okay. Adun Angkat untuk berkhidmat at these four dunes. You know, it makes no sense. There's no such thing as Adun Angkat in the first okay. place. This is like okay. precedent? Uh, yeah, but you, I, I don't call it as a pre- president, but the thing is, uh, if it is not within the con- state constitu- uh, constitution, why why do you have Adun Angkats? Uh-huh. And, and what happened to the four of us, uh, if I can, you know, maybe just explain a bit, was, um, okay, th- there are two different scenarios, okay? Um, first scenario is what happened uh, to me, Bertam, and Zul Lazim, Teluk uh-huh. Bahang, okay. So we contested back in uh, uh, 2018 under the PKR flag because at that time um, we, 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 we were Bersatu members then and I have to state that we are still Bersatu members now. Yeah. Okay, We have never switched parties, me and Zul Azim. Um, so back in 2018, we contested under the PKR flag because at that time, Pakatan Harapan wasn't formally formed. Pakatan Harapan was only formed one week after, after GE 14. 14. Okay, correct. So we all contested under the PKR flag, even DAP um, candidates, even Amanah candidates, okay, except for PKR candidates, memang lah, it's PKR, PKR, PKR flag. And we won. Then subsequently after that, Pakatan Harapan was formed and we went back to our respective parties. I mean, uh, I went back using my Bersatu logo. Yeah. Okay, so DAP assemblyman, including the state uh, chief minister, he's went back using his DAP logo uh-huh. and Amanah using the Amanah logo. Okay. So then um, we were in the government for 22 months. Then you know what happened, I suppose, um, the Sheraton move. Actually, how and, do you feel about the Sheraton move? Well, I think it was, it was necessary. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I do not want to go to that yet. Okay. Okay. We'll I mean, although, although people say <laughs> kerajaan tebu atap lah, pintu belakang lah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, that there were strong grounds and strong reasons why Sheraton move happened. Okay. Okay. Apa, we, we get to okay. that later. So after 22 months, when Bersatu and um, part of PKR left the Pakatan Harapan government, mm-hmm. okay. So um, there was a reshuffle. Uh, sorry, that there, there was a switch in in uh, government. Then Perikatan National was uh, uh, formed. You know, Tan Sri Muhyiddin became the prime minister at that time. So at state level. Of course, because I'm a Bersatu member, 
and I'm a, I'm, I'm a bersatu loyalist. Yeah. Okay, I'm loyal to my party. So, of course, we have to follow what the party does. So, when at federal level, the party left the coalition, at state level, we have to do the same thing. Okay, but we left a coalition. We didn't leave a party. Okay, so the state government, Penang state government is punishing us and they're saying that uh, we party hawk, party jam, kata, lompat party. Okay, because they used the state enactment, Article 14A, against us and they said that we party hawk. Okay. okay, which to me makes no sense because we left Pakatan Harapan. Pakatan Harapan is not a party. Pakatan Harapan is a coalition. Yes. Same goes to Barisa National, same goes to Prikata National. Okay. So when we left the coalition, the state government didn't fall. As you know, in Penang, DAP is very strong. Mm -hmm. you know. um, uh, they have majority seats, you know, very comfortable majority, more okay. than two-thirds majority they have in Penang. So when Zol, Zol Azim and I, when, when we left uh, Pakatan Harapan, when we became uh, opposition mm -hmm. aduns in the state of Penang, so even during that time, they had already initiated a legal action to kick us out of our seats, you know. But um, of course, the legal action took time, yeah. you know. So after a while, and then when it came to the sixth of March, twenty twenty three, this year, um, so what happened was at high court level, high court said that um, you know uh, the high court doesn't want to get entangled into these uh, legislative issues. Okay. So high court pushed it back to state assembly for the state assembly to decide. Of course, when the High Court did that, we knew already that <laughs> we are going to be booted <laughs> out because it's going to be 35 against 5. 35 against 5? 35 five. against 5. If, you're, if, if you take into account AMNO, because AMNO has got two seats. Yeah. So if you plus those two seats to the uh, ruling party in yeah. Penang, so they have 35 plus against two. 5 Prikata National Aduns. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bersatu has 4 yeah. and PAS has 1. Yes. Yeah, YB Ustaz Yusni Ma'apiyah Penaga. So, of course, we debated in the uh, state assembly, you know. I, I debated, I started, off, I started off first. I debated, I said that what the state uh, uh, government is doing is, is unfair. Yeah. You know, you can't kick us out because, number one, I never party hopped. You know, I contested last time, back in 2018, using the PKR flag, but I was a Bersatu member. And until today, I'm still a Bersatu member. So you, you don't come and tell me, or you don't come and create a perception that uh, we, we are party frogs, we are political frogs. We, I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. not. I have to state it. And I want everyone to know that until today, my stand is I never party hop. Okay? So the uh, anti-hopping enactment of the state of Penang shouldn't apply to me okay. and, and Zul Azim, and also yeah. to Afif and, and Zul Afif Ibrahim. Afif like... Uh, um, <laughs> that, okay, that, that's a different scenario altogether. Yeah. So when we debated in the state assembly, uh, one of the issues that I brought up was that, okay, I am a party member of Bersatu, okay? I have a Bersatu membership number. Yeah. Okay? So if you say that Pakatan Harapan is a party, do you have a membership number of Pakatan Harapan? Okay. You don't. You know, even Chao Kon Yao, Yang Amat Berhormat, Ketua Menteri, he doesn't have a... A membership of Pakatan Harapan, tak ada? Yeah. He has a membership of his own party. Yes. So how can you declare uh, peni, um, then uh, Pakatan Harapan? Then everybody who contested and exactly. the should be booted out, right? Exactly. Or at least subjected to the whole exactly. situation. Exactly, yes, yes. That is also an, another issue. Okay, so what they did to us was really unfair yeah. and unjust. And the worst part was they kicked us out in March. Yeah. And, and you know, we knew that state assembly was going to be is, is, is going to be dissolved uh, this month. It's yeah. already June. Yeah. Okay? It's just three, three months down the road. Yeah. Why kick us out now? You know, why, why do this to us? Why deny us our rights? You know, when it's just another three, three months that the assembly is going to be dissolved. Okay? From what I see, they are just afraid of the wave, the Prikata National wave that yeah. has happened during GE15 recently. Yeah. Again. So, in order to... Um, uh, minimize or you know just just to kill off our movement so this is what they're doing you know they're, they're kicking out four bersatu prikata national adons yeah. from our seat which we won yeah. you know the people elected us although at that time we, we used the pkr flag 
but we were elected by the people and by right it is the people it is the people's right to mm. either to either keep us there or kick us out yeah. during the next state election so we let the people decide uh, why why is um, the state assembly using you know whatever laws or rules that that they think they have to kick us out this is unconstitutional yeah, yeah? and then the other thing that i want to state is if you look at federal level okay. if you look at federal level uh, there's this uh, akta lompat party which yeah. was uh, passed at parliament yes. okay if you read the act akta lompat party if a party leaves a coalition it doesn't tend to amount to lompat party under that federal act yes and it's only a party yeah party and party. if and if the uh, member of parliament is um what do you call uh kicked out from his party mm-hmm. you know dipecat daripada parti dia it doesn't tend to amount to lompat parti juga yes. like like what happened in penang to zul zul ibrahim and afif because they oh, were yeah. kicked out from pkr yeah so prior to that 6 of march punya state assembly I put in a motion, an usul. I filed in an usul, a motion, for the state uh, uh, assembly to apa ni, regularize the state enactment okay. so that it is consistent with the Akta Lompat Parti Parliament. Okay. okay. But my motion was rejected. Okay. Instead of um, you know us um, you know discussing and debating about you know how you streamline and and, and you make the state law inconsistent. With the, federal. with the federal law they kicked us out instead you know yeah. so it is a very sad day yeah, it is a very you know people call it sejarah hitam di penang yeah. you know benda ni tak pernah berlaku it has never happened whereby four assembly men were kicked out from their seats which they won do you do you feel like this act was like reflected um on their attitudes towards you guys as the opposition ben- bench well um You know, from what I see, they are just afraid of us. Okay. You know, but why? Why are you so afraid of only four? Four of us can. <laughs> yeah. What can four do against another thirty-five? And the people, do they realize this? I mean, I don't know. You're on the ground, right? Like, do you check out well, with your okay. people? Well, okay. Um, of course, when when that happened, um, I went back to my kawasan, kan? Uh-huh. Jumpa, jumpa wang wang kan di kawasan ni. Of course, uh, a lot of them are very disappointed. Okay. You know, because they say that. The, the state government shouldn't do this okay it is not right mm-hmm. leave it to the rakyat to decide okay. you know whether i should be there or i shouldn't be there anymore okay so i suppose um, a lot of people are just eager and eagerly waiting for state elections to come so we'll see what happens what, what's the gauge right now like among i don't i don't know maybe because you're in sebrang punya area kan okay so what's the gauge right now in the sebrang area because i mean the previous election they looked Perikatan Nasional look quite strong, like quite comfortable there. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, um, you know, it was also surprising to us that we won uh, Kepala Batas and Pematang Pau. Yeah. Kan? Um, uh, of course, uh, Tasik Glugo was also a tough fight. I agree. You know, I um, was actually surprised. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and 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 uh, peni Datuk Wan Saiful Wan Jan won by I think almost thirteen thousand. Yeah. Thirteen thousand majority, if almost, I'm not mistaken, yeah. kan? Banyak, and. Um, Pematang Pau, Nurul Izzah lost. Yes, that, no, that was is, a shocker. That is PKR stronghold, that is Anwar Ibrahim stronghold. Yes. She lost. Kepala Batas. Yes. Riza Amerikan, Datuk Sri Riza Amerikan, is also a friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, Amno, Amno stronghold. Hister- hist- yes, I mean, Pak, Lah Pak was Lah. there. Tempat Pak Lah. Uh-huh. And he lost. Yes. You know, uh, of course, we were shocked, we were surprised. And initially, kan, when, when, when Parliament was uh, dissolved, I remember, it was the 10th of October. Mm-hmm. 2022. I remember 10-10 because my daughter's birthday. So when Parliament was dissolved on the 10th of October, at that time, during that time, you know, no one thought that Perikatan National would have, yeah. you know, will have an impact, you know, uh, come uh, Everybody federal was like elections. Everybody was like thinking here. you guys would lose, like win. I mean, I mean, people were saying, seats. people were saying that, ala maximum pun mungkin 30 lebih. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. But um, you know, that didn't hamper our was mangat kan so we fought on uh, memang when when we approach uh, PRU 15 the other day we were clearly the underdogs yes. kan perikatan national um, but we were surprisingly the wave came yeah. people call it the green wave yeah. but i call it is the perikatan national wave okay you know um, because people wanted perikatan national to be in power i believe 
Okay, because the slogan that we brought was uh, peni, uh, bersih dan stable. Okay, clean. We, we want to portray a clean and a stable government. Okay, so and then um, all of our candidates were properly scrutinized, you know, uh, checked everything. So our candidates were all clean candidates. Okay, I can say clean. Okay. Okay, and then of course, um, good candidates. So we fought. Uh, we face uh, GE 15, and surprisingly, um, a lot of the rakyat supported us, and we managed to gain 73 seats. Mm. Kalau tak silap saya, kan? 73 seats, yeah, which was surprising. It, I mean, it's not even Penang, like Selangor. You even in Selangor, we you may guys even made inroads in yeah, Selangor. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. True, true. Betul dah senyum. So um, we won many unexpected seats, mm -hmm. you know. Definitely. And and. If you ask me until today, I believe the wave is still very strong. Okay. And I believe the wave has just gotten stronger. Okay. Yeah. So actually, we are all excited. We are all, you know, eagerly <laughs> waiting to see what is going to happen uh, come um, these six state are elections. Are you planning to contest? Okay. Um, personally, I hope that my party allows me to uh, uh, fight for my seat again. Okay. For seat. Right. Okay. You know Everything depends on the party leadership. Okay. Okay. As much as I want to contest, the party leadership has to give me the green light. Yeah. Kan? Kalau dapat green light, alhamdulillah. Yes. Kalau tak dapat green light, nak buat macam mana? But I'll just have to help, help out. Ko mana pun. You know, because uh, Perikatan Nasional needs to win and we need to win big. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so, yeah, that is the most important thing. Okay. So, like, in Penang, you're the opposition leader. You were appointed opposition oh, leader. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about opposition leader. Oh, well, okay, what happened was a um, few weeks prior to uh, the state uh, assembly, mm -hmm. so um, Perikata National Pusat approved me as the uh, Ketua Pembangkang, okay. Okay, the opposition, opposition leader for state of Penang. And uh, the letter was sent to the uh, speaker, okay. Speaker Dun, uh, Datuk Lau Chukyong, and a copy was sent to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to Pejabat. Uh, setiausaha kerajaan negeri okay so we thought that you know the state assembly on on the state assembly day where when the state assembly convened uh, we thought that you know i would be um, um, pronounced as this new ketua pembangkang yeah <laughs> but that didn't instead happen you were out <laughs> instead of they pronouncing me as the ketua pembangkang for the state of penang they kicked us out yeah you know so yeah and, and they couldn't wait to kick us out by right the motion was supposed to be tabled only at 11 in the morning okay they brought it forward to 9 30. wow as soon as state state assembly convened uh, on that day 6 of march i can never forget that day <laughs> so 9 30 straight away this That's motion was <laughs> brought forth to kick us out all four of us so dah lah uh, tak dapat jadi ketua pembangkang yeah. dah kena kosongkan seat oh kosongkan God. kursi so Memang gila lah. Benda ni memang gila. Do you think there was any correlation between you becoming the states? I, I you know, I, I, I see it as Pakatan Harapan is so afraid of Perikatan National. They okay. do not want to give us, you know, the, uh, uh, what do you call, the coverage. Okay. You know, uh, they don't want to, to acknowledge us as a strong opposition. You know, they're so afraid of Perikatan National becoming ketua pembangkang. <laughs> Takut sangat. So, buang. You, what do you have that scares them so much? It's like, not me. It's, it's not you. me. It's it's what Prikata National has. Okay. You know that is scaring them. Uh, we have the support. Okay. We have the support of I can say majority Malays now. Okay. And also we are trying to win the support of the non-Malays. Okay. You know because uh, we don't want people to deem Prikata National as a Malay power party. Yes, we we are Malay, uh, and of course the agenda is Islam. So, but memang ini adalah. Islam adalah apa ni, agama rasmi. Uh -huh. okay, we have to uphold that. But the thing is, um, uh, should we become government, you know, one day inshallah, we, we have to rule and we have to take care of all races. Okay. And every government has to do that. Yeah. So, so don't be afraid of us. To yeah. the non-Malays out there who are listening, please don't be afraid of us. Also, you are half Chinese, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and because I was like reading up on your um, cam election campaign in 2018, okay. oh, and you can speak okay. Cantonese, right? How can I say? How can, how can, okay. Can you yeah. say something? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, so. so, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm half Chinese. Uh, my mother is Chinese. Okay. Okay, when she married my father, she converted to Islam. Oh. Um, so, I have Chinese blood in oh. me. 
Um, so, you know... You think it works in your benefit? Like you well, can... it, it, it benefits me in a way that um, I can converse because I can converse in Hokkien. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's easier for me to mingle around, to mix around with the Chinese community in okay. my kawasan. Yeah. Okay, in uh, Berta. Okay. And, and a lot of them know about this. Uh-huh. So it's a lot easier. Like, you know, th- there's no language barrier. Yeah, yeah. Can. When, when you speak their language, you can easily understand them and they can easily understand you. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's you, you, an advantage. You, you, you're going to use it again for the next election, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Okay. For my campaign, yes. yes. So um, is there any, like, because you are quite well-versed in the Chinese community, I would say, you okay. boleh cakap dengan dia orang. So what are the major highlights they want? You know, that's maybe because Penang has okay. been a PH-dominated state, right? Okay. And the AP is the major stronghold, kan? Mm-hmm. So from... A non-Malay segment, but having a Malay adun, Malay state assemblyman, what do they what do they ask for? What do they want that maybe um, the state government or the or the AP per se have not been delivering? Well, the thing is, um, of course, um, when you have an adun who is an opposition, yeah, okay, I mean, it's it's normal, quite normal that. That we don't get a peruntukan, mm-hmm. you know, we, we don't get a um, special advantage compared to if you are an adun for the state of government, a uh, state government, adun kerajaan. So, but if you're talking about what the community in my area wants, yeah, of course, I think it's the same in all communities, you know, um, bread and butter, you know, we, we're talking about bread and butter livelihood, mm-hmm. okay, uh, how they can survive, how they can. Uh, do their own business, carry on their business, you know, have a decent life, decent living. So um, that is, of course, the most important thing, and that is the challenge every adon or MP faces when they become a representative of the kawasan. Nak jaga kebajikan rakyat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, soal kehidupan rakyat. Okay. Um, makan minum, uh, keperluan harian. Mm-hmm. You know, livelihood. Yeah. Okay. So, um, well. Of course, Penang state government has been doing what they have been doing, but um, I think a lot more can be done, you know. Yes. So why don't you give Prikatan National a, ch- a, a chance? Yeah. You know, uh, I'm sure we can govern the state well. Okay. Um, we have, uh, you know, the experience. We have the people with a good background, um, professionals, you know. So Penang try kali, eh? <laughs> you know, there's the tagline, Penang try kali. Try kali. Yeah, try okay. kali. Penang try kali. Okay, try and um, you, we've talked about this, but like 15 Malay majority seats in okay. Penang, and okay. there's like a whole bunch of other seats. So even Malay, if you yeah. win the Malay majority seat, which is like 15, um, what's the chances of the other, okay. the other balance? Okay, of course, the uh, main target is the Malay majority seats. Yeah? Okay. Majority means, of course, more than 50%. Okay, um, should we win all 15 seats, Malay majority seats in Penang? <coughs> Number one, uh, it's a signal to Pakatan Harapan that you don't mess around with Perikatan National. Okay, uh, we are there, we are here to stay, and we are a force to, to be reckoned with. Okay. You know? And number two, um, we want to deny the two-thirds majority that the state government has been enjoying all this while. Because when you have two-thirds majority, you can enact laws to your whims and fancies. Yeah. Kan? When you have majority dua or tiga, you boleh buat apa saja. Betul. Okay. Betul. So, we don't want that to happen. So, if we can win 15 seats, inshallah, we automatically deny Pakatan Harapan Penang. Yes. The two-thirds majority that they have been enjoying all this while. Yes. Okay. But you never know, no, Tasnim. Yeah. Uh, we need, should we win 15? Okay. We need six more, you know, to make simple majority and to make state government. Okay. Anything Who? is possible. Okay. Like, like what happened during GE 15. 15, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. No one expected Perikatan National to win 70 over seats. Yeah, exactly. You never know. Five, five seats, right, to make a uh, simple majority, right? Five seats uh, out of six, six, six. Sorry, six. six. If, uh, should we win fifteen? Uh-huh. We need six more. Okay, so six. we need twenty-one. 
what are the six seats we're looking These at? These are here? mixed seats. We're yeah. talking about mixed seats, yeah? Okay. Whereby maybe the uh, Malay population is around 40%. Okay. And then and the non-Malays, of course, they come up to 60%. Um, but you never know because um, anything is possible. I'm sure at ground level, after the kerajaan uh, <laughs> perpaduan, uh-huh. Uh, ditubuhkan uh, to me it's not kerajaan perpaduan lah. to me it's kerajaan campuran sebab okay. kalau you're talking about perpaduan unity means everybody is in the government yeah. but Perikatan Nasional is not part of the government we don't want to be part of the okay. government no we stand by our principles so um, <laughs> uh, what are the six seats um, um, the, the six uh, yeah. mixed seats yeah. adalah uh, we have like a pretty um macam bubu. Okay. Uh, ada a few seats lah. You know yang yang mix seats ni. What I'm trying to say is it is not impossible for us to make state government. Okay. Because of what happened at federal level bila AMNO dengan DAP dah start <laughs> bermesra, yeah. kan dah tidur sekatil tapi yeah. bukan sebantal. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of their supporters at ground level are very unhappy. Okay. Because when when they were contesting when they were apa ni, when, when the election campaign was going on mm-hmm. masa PRU 15 baru ni uh, they were against each other yeah you know amno was no anwar no dap yes no bersatu tak apalah memang no bersatu but no anwar no dap you know and pmx was always on the uh, on the stage oh kita tolak rasuah yes kita tak nak orang yang salah guna kuasa what happened at the end You know, at the end, you do, know. do you feel the, do you feel that Malays young memang are hardcore AMNO supporters? Because because I do hey, have you know I I okay I have a lot of AMNO friends. Okay. Okay, and I know what they're feeling right are you, now. Are you are you from are you were, were you in AMNO before? No, no, I was never an AMNO okay. member. <laughs> but my my family we have AMNO roots. AMNO my roots, sister, yeah. yeah orang Pinang, know. I think orang almost Pinang. orang Pinang. So so apa ni masalah dia sekarang ni? Uh, penyokong-penyokong AMNO and also Pakatan Harapan, yeah. they feel betrayed. Okay. They were lied to and they have been betrayed. You know, memang kena tipu hidup-hidup. Okay. So, nak letak muka kat mana? Where, where you going to put your face? You know? Alright. You you supported your party, your party that went against, you know, cronyism, abuse of power and all that. And at the end, you know, they're together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the end, Pakatan Harapan and Barisan Nasional easily macam ni lah. I'm no DAP lah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Now, now, I'm no is telling their members sokong DAP. Yes, vote DAP for DAP. DAP is telling their members sokong I'm no. But, but you know, the 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 lovey dovey relationship is only happening up there, but down, down on ground on the ground level, it's a different story altogether. Really, you can so, feel it. So so yeah, of it. course we feel it and we know it. We okay. know it. So you never know. Perikatan Nasional could make Penang State Government, you never know. Okay. My God, that's very promising. <laughs> you sound very promising right now. <laughs> I, you know, I, you know, um, of course, when when we go head on, come this state election, um, we have our principles, we have our, you know, uh, our motto. Yeah. You know, we, we know what we want. We know what we can uh, promise our people. And we're going to stick to that. How How's the seat allocations for Penang right now? Uh, Perikatan National yeah, wise, uh, I think it's almost settled. Okay. Okay, and then the seat allocation has been discussed and uh, distributed. Well, I can say pretty fairly. Okay. Can we can we be seeing more Gerakan members uh, candidates? Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, Gerakan will be making a comeback. Okay. You know, in Penang, uh, and they're also doing a lot of work on the ground now. Okay. Okay, and then it's good that uh, they are always they are constantly on the ground now. Okay. Um, of course, their target is the non-Malay uh, yeah. society. Understandable. Yeah. So I leave it to them how they're going to tackle the non-Malays. It's up to them. But it doesn't mean that as uh, Besatu members we don't tackle the non-Malay votes as well. Of no. course. Because, like I said, you know, should we make government? Even if we do not make government, okay. But as leaders of your respective kawasan, adun ke MP ke, you kena jaga semua. Okay, not just jaga orang Melayu, kena jaga orang Melayu, China, India, lain-lain, yeah. semua, kena jaga. 
So yeah, that is our responsibility. Amanah tanggungjawab kita. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before we end, this this was very oh, quick. I feel like we should have yeah. we should be talking <laughs> long, longer right now. But before we end, I just want to get like some predictions for you from you. Not just for Penang itself, but okay. you are a Penangite and you do feel some sense of confidence that six state six extra six state ever six state seats that not can impossible. be po- not possible not, not impossible, impossible. Not, impossible. Yeah, not impossible like what would Prikata national do for penang and also we have to address the elephant in the room right now that's happening and terkecoh kecoh everywhere about the whole uh, oh, pasal ni, kedah eh. MB kedah 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 uh, kedah stating is claim over penang yeah like <laughs> i will be okay. like Totally frank with you, what's going to happen because right now, um, former Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng, oh, sorry, Bagan MP, uh, Lim Guan Eng is saying like, where are all the Bersatu and PAS and um, Gerakan Perikatan National Leaders? He's even asking leaders. people to go and lodge police yeah, reports against Sanusi, million, which is absurd. 1.8 million Penangais, yeah. go lodge report, he said. So, where is all your voices? I mean, I know PAS, PAS punya Penang Chief dah cakap dah, but... Bersatu punya stand. What if, like, what's the situation if Penang yeah. wins? Dia macam ni lah. Eh, sorry. Let, let, Bers- PN wins Penang. Uh, wait, we are talking about the the sovereignty issue. Sovereignty ke? issue first. Okay, okay. And then what happens when you guys Sovereignty issue, I just nak, nak ulas sikit. Okay. What happened was, um, yang amat berhormat uh, Menteri Besar Kedah, Sanusi. Yes. He threw a statement. Mm-hmm. Dia kata... Um, historically, Penang belongs to Kedah, yes. which is true. And then they get a uh, Penang has a claim. Sorry, Kedah has a claim of Penang. Yeah. Well, when that statement came out, um, ramai orang koyak lah. Mm-hmm. You know, especially Pakatan Harapan. I mean, it is just a statement. It doesn't mean by by him saying that doesn't make Penang automatically Kedah. Yeah. It's <laughs> but why did Chow did say like, um, if he's just joking, we'll take the joke seriously because it's serious matter. So, what serious I'm, matter I'm not, is I'm this? Just, I'm just quoting you him know, what he said. He, he just made a, he just made a statement, a claim. Okay lah, he made okay. a claim that Penang belongs to Kedah. Okay, okay, fine. But does that automatically make Penang uh, Kedah? Yeah. No, right. No, it is just a statement. Uh-huh. Yang yang Pakatan Harapan koyak teruk ni, Guan Eng koyak teruk, apa ni, Chow Konyao koyak teruk ni, what's the matter? But also like um, the past chief, the past Penang chief, uh, Ustaz Fauzi Yusuf. Okay. Uh, he said, he I called him up and asked about the situation and he told me that, you know, what Sanusi, what, uh, what MB Sanusi is talking about is the land lease. Okay, the land not lease. Not the, uh, not the fed. It doesn't involve the federal constitution. It's just the right. land issue. Right. So he was telling like. Pajakan. Pajakan kan? yes. Because Penang pays pajakan every year. Ten. Ten million. million ten to, million to yearly. Kedah. Yes. What does that tell you? <laughs> I mean, logically speaking, yeah, kan? Exactly. But but come on lah, to to Penangites who are listening, you know, what, there's nothing to worry about. And number one, if if Kedah is to claim back Penang, if if uh-huh. it ever happens, yeah, you know, it's going to take years for it to be resolved. Okay, you know, it is going to take extensive uh, court, uh, any proceedings. Yeah, you know, <laughs> what actually? Yeah, like okay, yes. Let's say fifty years. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long that will take. But okay. um, what happens? To Penangites, uh, is there some sort? Because he you was saying that your worry. rights, your uh, no la, no your, la, no la. you know, I think I think is there I any think, special Penangite rights that I don't know of that? <laughs> we're not 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 to say special Penangite rights. Is to me, it's like um, you know, there are certain things which have been uh, thrown out of proportion. Okay, you know, and to me, it has been thrown out of proportion because of the state elections coming soon. Okay, you know. I'm sure if uh, Yang Amat Berhormat Sanusi had said this a long time ago, uh, the issue wouldn't have been so sensationalized. Okay. Now it's being sensationalized. I mean, uh, PH Penang is trying to scare Penangites mm-hmm. so that they don't vote for Perikatan National. Yeah. You know, to me, come on lah Penangites. I know you all are very, you know, well-educated. Saya percaya orang Penang ni orang yang pandai-pandai belaka. Tak payah risau. So okay. you just, just focus on Penang. <laughs> just focus on Penang. Let's focus on Perikatan National winning Penang, okay. inshallah. 
P9 kita try kali. Okay, kalau you menang, uh, kalau you menang, and then okay. you have the power, are you guys gonna join kita? <laughs> Dia macam ni lah. <laughs> Let's take one thing at a time. Okay. You know, should Perikatan Nasional take over Penang? Yeah. There are a lot of work that needs to be done. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, administering administering a state, managing a state is not an easy task. Okay. Let, let us take one step at a time. Okay. Let's not think about Penang going back to Kedah yet. Okay. But that has to be that will be one of the major campaign trails for for PH because they've been talking about. Oh this. well, they can they can say whatever they want. Of course, we will rebut. Okay. You know, let's just wait until the campaign starts. Okay. All right. Okay, so it. there you have it. Former Bertam Assemblyman who was booted out in March. <laughs> booted out. We're in June now. <laughs> in March. So hopefully you get the contest and we'll see you Inshallah. again in you. The, during the campaign period. Right. Thank you so much, YB Khalid. All right, I hope to see you on Sinadili. Inshallah. Okay. All right. All right, bye guys.